Hey, welcome to your first day. Yeah, come on in. You ready to get uh, right into it, get started today? Yeah, so I, before we start, I've got to ask, what made you want to, you know, start working at the floors here in Pelican Town? Oh, you just moved in. Are you in that farm out west of town? Oh, that's, I, that place has been vacant for a long time. I'm, I'm glad to see somebody in there. Uh, I'm sure you've got your work cut out for you, so um, hopefully... Maybe you'll learn something today here, you know, working at the floors that you can apply to your farm as well. So, all right, well, we've got a pretty run-of-the-mill day ahead of us today. So a nice, easy, you know, first day of work. Um, we've got five orders that have come in. Um, and, you know, so we're, we've got our planter here. We're gonna get our seeds in the ground, get a little bit of water and a little speed grow to, you know, speed things up a little bit. And we'll get those orders out to our uh, happy customers. All right, we do a lot of business here in, uh, in Pelican Town. We've got some holidays coming up. So um, I think people are just preparing for, you know, sending some flowers out to friends, loved ones, and, uh, you know, secret admirers, things like that. So. Uh, first things first, we have Marnie's order is in. She ordered a batch of, si of sweet peas, and um, we do all of our batches in six uh, flowers. So we're going to get those seeds in. But before we do, we've got a little bit of fertilizer spray here, and we're going to make sure that that soil is nice and prepared. So let's go ahead and dampen that soil out a little bit. We want to make sure that we've got a great base for our seeds. Now, we've got our mixed seeds here. For some reason, people keep finding batches of our mixed seeds here and there. I don't know if they're getting dropped by you know, the delivery. So uh, I don't know what's going on, but it seems like people never know what they're going to get when they, they, when they plant those. So our, our, uh, our experience here, on the other hand, we know exactly what we're gonna get and we're going to get some of our famous sweet pea seeds. So, as you can see, we we mix all of our seeds here. Um, you know, we know which seed is which, so it's not a problem for us just to throw them all in there together. So, um, we've got that there. And next, we are going to get our little divot made here in the soil. Nice and easy for our seeds. We're going to plant six evenly spaced seeds here. That way we get nice, give them a, you know, a nice kind of area to grow without getting too uh, you know, close together. So we've got one seed there. We have another sweet pea seed there. We've got three, let's get that fourth one in there, and five, and six. All right, excellent. We're just gonna smooth that dirt over. Make sure we've got a nice, evenly mounded coverage. We gotta get a little tamp here. that soil nice and tamped down. The nice thing about planting in our, you know, in houses, not as likely to be affected by the crows, which I have been told out on the farms, and I'm sure you're quite aware, uh, can be quite the hassle. So uh, we're gonna add just a little bit more of our patented fertilizer spray. Here's the real trick, our famous speed grow. Now, I know Pierre sells his version, but don't tell anybody, but that is a much more diluted version of what we offer. So this is quite the nifty trick. So just a little dash on top of all of our freshly planted seeds. And that is all it takes, my friend. 
watch and learn. We're gonna get that nice and raked in. We want that getting in deep there in the soil all the way down to the seeds. All right, and we sit back and we watch it work. All right, and that's all there is to it. I told you it was easy. Now, don't tell anybody about that little trick. Um, and unfortunately, this speed grow stays in-house, um, so you will have to use the traditional method on your farm. But um, while you're here at work, we wanna make things as easy as possible. So now let's get our freshly sprouted sweet peas out of that soil and ready to send out to Marnie. Okay, let's go ahead and harvest these. grew nicely. Some decent height on these. All right, we've got a nice evenly grown batch there. She's going to love these. I'm sure uh, she's sending these to her secret admirer. It's quite the secret that is um, no one seems to know who exactly she's been spending all this time with. Let's go ahead and trim off some of these additional leaves that way we have nice stem to present in case she wants to apply these into a vase here perfect all right We can get a nice ribbon around these stems to get that batch safely delivered. So if you started any big projects out on the farms yet, okay, you got yourself a dog, huh? That's great. It's nice to have a friendly companion with you. Oh yeah, parsnips. Hey, those grow. Great, I'm told. Now, just make sure that you get them out of that ground before those crows come. Um, you know, they they don't come all the time, but it seems like at the least, the moment you least expect it, there they are. Okay, let's get a nice little ribbon here and tie around our bunch. That way we can get these out nice and easy. It's funny, such a small amount of flowers can create such a big impact on the right recipient. Now, I'm sure as you're aware, not all villagers here in Pelican Town enjoy flowers as a gift, but those who do, tend to, well, they just seem to be won over by such a, a nice gift. So we want to make sure that we give people that option to have a nice moment in time. So these will go out to Marnie in the morning, and I'm sure she will be quite pleased. That's a nice harvest. Okay, so next up on the list we have... Ah, uh, Harvey. Harvey ordered a fresh batch of fairy rose, so we're going to get those going right away. We're going to, once again, prep that soil. Okay, let's get our seeds in the ground. little cork lid there. Okay, and our divots. We want to make sure we've got a nice little home for each of the seeds. Nice and safely packed away. Okay, let's go ahead and get those 
seeds right in that soil. Fairy rose is quite a popular choice of flower order for quite a few of our, our villagers. Okay, so I'm not surprised uh, Harvey, I'm sure, has his eyes on someone special. Okay. Let's get that tamped down. All right. And now for our special little trick. Let's get these fresh fairy rose on their way. Let's go ahead and get those worked in. We want to make sure we have everything in order. All right. And sit back and watch. All right. And just like that, we are ready to harvest. So. Let's get these fairy rose out of the soil. Wow, those smell fantastic. Yeah, smell those. Yeah, those are nice. So I think Harvey is going to be really pleased with these. These came together really nicely. Some really good height on those, um, which is not super easy to pull off this time of year. So let's get our ribbon here. Have you met Harvey yet? <laughs> it's probably a good thing that you haven't. He actually runs the clinic downtown. So he's honestly, if you have a knack for exploring, perhaps maybe you've been up to the mine. Um, he He's the last person that you to end up seeing at the end of your night. All right, he's going to really enjoy these fairy rows. Okay, let's get those prepared for distribution tomorrow morning. All right, next up on the docket, we have ah, Pam and her summer spangles. She does love those. Orders them every year. All right, got that fertilizer down. Let's get those scenes. A nice quaint flower here. Almost forgot our divots. That would have been unfortunate. That's how you get a seed not to grow, just throwing it directly on the top of the soil. Okay, let's get our seeds in the dirt there. Perfect, nice and easy. Once again, kind of a frail seed to start, but a nice flower once matured. So, Pam is a big fan of these. I think she orders them a lot for her daughter. So Penny, of course, uh, whom I don't know if you've met yet, but I'm sure you will. She spends a lot of time with um, caring for the children in the town. So she's really wonderful. All right, let's get that speed grow going. Perfect. Okay, let's get that worked in. What's that? One of your parsnips grew overnight. Okay. You thought you heard something outside in the middle of the night. And it was just grown in the morning. Fully grown. And you planted it one day. Okay, well, looks like we uh, aren't the only one with a little magic trick for growing. Hmm. Keep me posted on that one. That sounds interesting. But 
while we wait, let's watch them grow. All right, excellent. These came in very nicely. Yes, as you can see, these don't usually have much foliage on the stem, which makes them perfect for bouquets. Yeah, look at that. That is going to work nicely for Pam. I'm sure we may just have a recipe in the mailbox pretty soon. She's known to do that when, uh, well, when returning a favor. Man, those are great. How's that smell? Yeah, very fresh. Excellent, okay. Always glad to see when one of our products comes together so beautifully. That's how we retain most of our customers is just quality and service. We want to make sure we get these out quickly and our customers know that when they order from us, they're going to get exactly what they're looking for. Okay. And there we go. Perfect. Let's get those ready to send. Okay. Moving right along, we have two orders left. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more fertilizer on that soil. Let's go ahead and get our divots. We have, who is that? Oh, Mayor Lewis. Okay, yeah, he ordered, he ordered some poppies. He's a big fan of those this time of year. So we're going to get him set up right. All right, let's get these in the ground. Perfect. And last one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those covered up. Let's get a little tamped down. Always good to stay on the mayor's good side, am I right? Yeah. All right, let's get our speed grow. There we go. Let's get that worked in. wonder who, now, he usually only orders these once a year, and he already had an order last week. wonder what he's doing with so many flowers. Hmm. I don't know. All right. And perfect. No telling what he's up to, but nonetheless, we will deliver. It's got some nice buds on there in case he wants to put these in a little bit of water and allow those additional flowers, those additional poppies to bloom. I think that would be quite nice. A nice little surprise for the recipient, a, uh, the gift that keeps on giving, am I right? That's right, okay. So you think you're gonna be, uh, think you're gonna be ready to do this on your own tomorrow? Yeah, there's not a lot to it. I think you're gonna do just fine. Look at that, how oh, those are fresh. Mm, okay, last but not least, let's go ahead and get some fertilizer there. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and get our divots. There we go. Get our seeds in. What are seeds am I putting in, actually? I was about to just start planting away. Okay. That's interesting. We have the wizard, okay, ordering some crocus. All right, that's not typical, but hey, I'm always eager to have a new client. Now, last I knew, he is not with his wife anymore. 
wonder if there's been some rekindling there. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no one's ever even seen her, but, you know, there's a first time for everything. Let's get a little tamp there. All right. And speed grow away. First time customer, we want to make sure that we uh, start off on the right foot. Especially a wizard, you never quite know what you're going to get. I've never actually been out his way. He's over in your neck of the woods. You maybe ought to swing by and give him a visit. Okay, let's get these going. Wow, we got some great height on these crocus today. He is going to, well, I assume he's going to love these. I've never actually met the guy, but hmm. yeah, those are great. Okay, well, whatever he is looking for, hopefully he finds them by doing business with us. Let's get this ribbon nice and secure. All right, these smell lovely, okay. And there it is. Our final customer is hopefully going to be happy. Um, and there we go. Okay. Well, and that's how it's done. Uh, I think we're just about ready for our break. So um, we're going to get these packaged up, get these sent out. Um, any questions kind of about how we do things? Uh, you know what? How about after our break, I let you get kind of your first attempt at uh, planting and working with the speed grow on your own. All right, that sounds great. Uh, I think you're gonna do awesome. Okay, um, well, let's, uh, wait, while we're on break, I'll, uh, I'll fill you in on a little bit of a problem we've got. We've got some someone rummaging through the dumpsters. I'll, I'll tell you about it on break, okay? All right, let's go.